Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Grey Wolf here, back with another Minecraft video. And you can see, I have actually done a huge amount of work here. Uh, first of all, get right on into it. Uh, extend on this path on over, uh, right through this little overhang between these two trees. I really am loving these two trees here. Uh, this one's a little short, but otherwise, this is, makes a really nice little overhang. And this one helps out a little bit too. Right on into here, and then we have this path, and this path. Uh, I'll show this side first. First, um, we showed last episode we built these, at least one of these, um, or I think it was this one, these um, tents right here. So we got that still. Um, I think I showed these beds, these little beds or something. Uh, then I built this one right here, um, pretty much the same thing as that one. But um, I did this little um, flower pot because I think it really looks like a, like a little cup of uh, maybe coffee or something. It's really cool. Also, uh, I changed the flag from that skimpy little flag to this almost big like banner type flag thing. Let me grab my food. Um, yeah, that looks pretty nice. We run on over here. You can see it continued this little... Um, damn it. Um, Continue this little wall of um, this over here, and then we go over to the red and gold side. And um, I've done actually probably the most work over here. Uh, made a little bit of a, a ring of a gravel around here just so I could um, make this look like it's trampled and stuff. Have a little fire put in the middle with some coffee cups around, so everybody can sit next to the fire. They're like, oh, oh, really nice fire. Ah. Okay, that's um, not so nice anymore. Stop, drop, and roll. Where's the water? Oh, I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! Okay, I'm good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have these um, kind of copies of those tents over there. But we also have this tent right here. I'll show you this. Oh, God, stupid things. Um, so this is a kind of, um, I, I guess, a gearing up tent, you know? You have some of your gear in here, and um, oh God, it's almost night again. Uh, so, yeah, this little gearing up tent, uh, kind of, this little center pole holds it up. I actually need to put some light in here. And, um, yeah, I'm planning on putting some, uh, like, armor type stuff in here. And that's actually what this is supposed to be. These are little hooks, and these are actually supposed to be, you know, you know stop it. Oh, I think he's actually updating them. Hmm. I don't know if these actually update them. I think it's something else. But um, these are actually supposed to be like shields that you grab, and this is going to be a square shield you run out with. You know? Um, so that's what that's going to be. And we actually need to go back and grab some more stuff so we can continue building. I'm going to light up here. We don't really want mobs in our arena, at least yet. Maybe when they come out with uh, um, skeleton horses. Oh my god, these zombies. Um, but oh yeah, today was my last day of school, so I'm out. It is summertime. Woo! That is awesome. I'm gonna put that away, we don't need that. Uh, let's see, what did we need? Yeah, but, uh, summertime, pretty cool. Um, still the cobblestone glitch. Uh, yes, we need stone. We don't need about, we need probably 24. That'll be good, and then we can just sleep quickly, and then we'll get on to it. Um, I'll show you, I've worked out this design kind of in, um, creative. Let's see. Didn't mean to open this. Oh, by the way, I bred up these two horses over here. I got this guy. He is an average jumper and average runner. So, I mean, he's not bad. So, I mean, maybe if we get two average runners and average jumpers and combine them, we get a really good one. I don't really know how the breeding mechanics for this game works. But maybe. That'd be cool. We have to name them after Seinrich is gone now. Um... Yeah, I think these are actually updating them. So I'm gonna, yeah, those are definitely updating them. Take those down. Now, 
Uh, so how we do this is this is going to be your um, like you know the like the rack that you hold your arm on. This is your chest piece right here, big wide chest piece, main torso, and a couple of, like arms. Then we have actually we'll take these out of here. Let's take this out for now. Just do. Then next to this we have the helmet. Nothing too special. And then we have leggings and um, also boots. I think. I think actually on this side I'm gonna do the horse armor. Take this down. And I'm, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning on having the red uh, be like the big the big guy on top and um, the blue side is going to be the little side so I'm not going to add anything too huge there and then some leggings and can you put these in the same block? No I didn't think so so actually it's not quite wide enough I don't know if I like that like that um, Mm, it's not bad. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell on this kind of uh, platform here, like this. So maybe, maybe what we do is we take out this and take out this and this. And that there. Put two of those there, and then you can it's still the problem. It doesn't fit. You could take this down here, and then add something else in the middle. Here, like that, and then there's the boots. And in the middle, we have, I guess we have another one of these. Well, why not? Um, that kind of fits. Can't really tell exactly what it is, but you know, whatever. Uh, actually, I just came up with a better idea. This down. Uh, since we actually needed these trapdoors, we're gonna have, and of course, a sword. We have this being kind of the sword. Actually, let's let's put it right there. That's gonna be the sword rack. And then you can grab your shields there. I don't know if you, if someone explains it to you, you kind of understand. But otherwise, it's it literally just doesn't look too good. I really don't know what else I could do to um, replace that. You know, like what would look like pants on the wall or something that holds pants. Um, I tried out hooks, but they didn't look too good. Like um, you can tell. See, this doesn't doesn't do it. Um, let's try the bottom. I I guess we can try the bottom. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it uh, just doesn't do it. Okay. Well, I mean, that's good enough for now. I actually think I want this out of slant. Man, anybody who doesn't know what's going on in here and comes in is just going to be so confused. Um. No, no, don't like that. And I'm going to actually label all of these. So we can get back here and grab our stuff. Grab some wood. Okay. I think I might have some signs in here actually. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of signs. Uh, just in case we grab some wood though, and also got a ton of dirt. Got a couple pieces of dirt. And yeah, okay. So let's just let's just go run back quickly and label those. I think I might actually need to get a a, tr a tree farm kind of soon. Not really because. Um, I'm running out of wood, but more is because I'm, uh, 
I'm running out of uh, leaves. So how are we gonna do this? Aha, uh -huh, here. Um, helmet. That and chest. Oh, it doesn't need to be capitalized. Chest plate. Whoops. There we go. Looks good. Um, here's a little bit difficult. Actually, you know what? I just thought of. Put that down. Uh, here. Sword. And shield. And then here we have, well, yeah, I got that. Oh, whoops. I had to write something there. Let's go, um, boots. And I guess you call them legging, uh, or chaps. Um, I call them leg armor, I guess. Nah, that's stupid. Um, mm, that's, that's curious. I, I really don't know what we'd call those. Uh, for now, we'll put leggings. That sounds kind of feminine, but that's okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. You know, now it seems like our, our warrior is out. But we also need... Something like this. And we don't have to necessarily use stone. I'm just using that for now. Oh, well, we can't use stone, dummy. I'm thinking. I can't put buttons on stone. Uh, that's a great idea. Because I want to use... um, I want to make a pattern for horse armor. But it doesn't really look like... We have space for it, so you know what, it's fine, we don't need that. Um, so this is actually looking pretty good, we're almost done. You guys are, I'm hope you're trying to get like a little feel of how this is working, you know, stuff like, you know, see people coming up here, uh, with, probably without armor on, and they're like, whoops. Come on, let's go! Come on, guys, let's go! I wanna see, I wanna see you kill him! Knock him off his horse, let's go! Come on, you can do it! I believe in you, let's go! Let's go! And then the, the lower rows, like, people get to, like, to taste the dirt on their face, like, oh, I'm so close. I can actually taste the dirt on my face, you guys. Oops, uh, let's see. You know, just, mm -hmm. just like hot, right up close. You want you can feel the wind in your hair as they run past it. If you, if you have hair, that is. Mm -hmm. The other people, the people on the other side, gonna be like, "Hey, shut up over there! Trying to watch a game." Yeah, and um, actually, probably need to make um, a little bit of more of a road here. Something like that. Um, figure that out later. Wow, I'm back on. Uh, yeah, we actually uh, probably need a little bit more of a road. Or yeah, mm, I don't know if I needed to make it a road or not. What a, did I make this a road? I didn't make this a road, but I made this a road. Oh, barely missed that. Uh, yeah, I guess I could um, get a little road in here. We probably need to light like that back up over there. Oh, you know what I just thought of? I might want to do some hidden lighting, you know? Under the... Under the leaves here. We could add some... A little bit of lag right there. My computer hasn't come yet, but it is, they are testing it. They sent me an email sending they are testing it and uh, putting on my logo on the side of the computer. I think I might make a video of it um, once I get it. I'll show you guys a little 
Um, very messy setup here. Might clean out for you guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully that comes pretty soon. I was actually hoping for it to be here by the end of uh, school, but unfortunately, you know, nothing I can do about that. Uh, but man, this computer, you guys. I am pumped for this computer. I'm ready for it to be here. Um, I'm going to keep talking a little bit Why I work right here. Let me turn that down just about a smidge. Um, but yeah, um, been working for this computer, saving up my money. Uh, didn't know I was actually saving up my money necessarily for this until, you know, I decided that I want this. I need a new computer. Because uh, actually right now I'm on my laptop, which is, you know, it's a good laptop, but there's only so far you can go with a laptop, you know what I mean? Especially if I'm um, making these videos, uh, yeah, then I definitely need something a little bit better. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it's, I one of the big problems I've been having with my uh, laptop is that it's been overheating quite a lot. So um, I made sure that this uh, new new computer has like a just a huge beast um, uh, beast cooling system. It's got a uh, like a liquid cooling system, um, like six six or so fans in it. I don't know. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. Actually, let's go back to our home and then I think I can look it up for you guys. Just kind of read off in case you guys are interested in uh, what I'm getting. Okay, so um, let me pull my internet. I don't know if you guys will actually be able to see this or not. Bookmarks. Yeah, here it is. And um, either log in. One second. Okay, it saved my stuff. Log in. Don't care about prizes or anything. So let me make this bigger. Um, let's see. Shopping cart. The shopping cart is empty, but. We'll do, do, do. Hmm, my account maybe? Uh, yes, order number, let's click view. So, okay, I'm getting, I'm ordering from this place called Ironside Computers. They seem pretty good to me, I mean, their, their website has def they put, definitely put a lot of work into it and stuff. So, you guys might want to check it out if you're looking to a new computer. Um, but let's see, it says uh, three, 320 millimeter uh, fans, uh, an i7 core processor, Intel processor, uh, base um, liquid cooling, um, CPU cooling radiator, 120 millimeters, I think that is. Uh, I'm not the best with these computers, so if I mess up something, you guys, um, I'm sorry. Um, I have a, a electric blue UV one core thousand milliliters um, coolant thing, coolant thing. Uh, a Gigabyte GAB seven uh, five M D three V Intel motherboard. Um, just stock speed there um, 16 gigabytes of memory for it and so that's not I mean nothing huge there but um, a terabyte of memory um, yeah just a terabyte for my primary hard drive uh, got a basic graphics card a NVIDIA GeForce 670 uh, two gigabytes, and then I have a second, uh, also NVIDIA GeForce uh, 650 um, graphics card. So that that's definitely pretty cool. Um, going with a 700 watt uh, power supply, just pretty basic thing. Um, and then I I'm sticking with Windows 7, and uh, basically everything else is kind of, I guess just 
random other junk that is not too important. But, uh, sorry if you guys had to stare at that screen for a little bit. Um, but that's basically what I'm getting. It should be like an amazing computer. I'm very excited for it to come. And um, my dad's got some monitors of that he's not really using. So we'll be able to hook those up and um, should be pretty cool. Uh, I'm thinking I actually have two monitors, which should be, I think it will be pretty cool. Um, here we have um, the twin chickens right here. And um, they're hooked up to this pole. For no apparent reason, just to maybe give a little effect that they're, they're running around and we are nice people to our animals. But um, I'm going to take a quick break, you guys. Go... Um, work on that path over there and uh, actually see how much time we have left. I think we're kind of nearing the end. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have just pretty much finished it up and uh, I think it looks really nice. It really does. Between this, you know, the parts where it's kind of stomped out. Uh, this is what I added right now. Uh, not completely finished, I think I need to add a couple more uh, little uproots in the hedge. Sh shut up, I'm trying to talk to you, zombie. Um, yeah, I think I need a little more uproots here. Nothing too bad. Should be pretty easy. Uh, might need to fix this a little bit, but I actually ran out of leaves. So, um, might be something you guys get to look forward to soon. Something like that, right? And, um, over here, this looks pretty good. Yeah, nice. Where are these zombies coming from? Whoops. Yeah, you die. We're gonna do a nice little just walk around. Kind of cinematic. Looking down here, on the sides, you can just imagine like fans cheering. Looks pretty good. I like it. So, um, you yeah, know, I'll probably wrap the rest of this up. Um, I'm really happy with this. Now, one thing that we might, you might want to think of, and uh, maybe you guys can leave a suggestion for this, is, you know, when you're looking at it like this, it almost looks like that bush right there and that bush right there, the two different rows. From back here, it kind of looks like they are just one row, you know, kind of looks the same. So I'm thinking maybe we take birch leaves, which would be like a little bit of a darker color, and we kind of mix it in there just to give it more of a depth, feel depth, maybe you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, um, maybe try it out for yourself and see what you think. You guys think? Um, tell me what you guys think about that. Um, but now I believe it is time for the the Q&A at the end of the episode. We need like a name for that. It's like um, my question, your question, or I don't, I don't know. I can't think of anything. I'm bad with names. But uh, actually, we're not going to go in there. Um, we are going to observe our house from a distance. It's looking, it's looking really good. I'm really liking this. It's last couple episodes, it's really starting to shape up. See this? Oh, God, I just have to take a screenshot right there. That's nice. Okay, so um, today's uh, question for you and for me is, what is your favorite food? You know, nothing. Pretty simple question. Um, but for me, I I'm a huge fan of food. Um, I'm not fat or anything. I'm I'm not like I'm I'm not like one of those guys who just what well, I, I am. I just have a really high metabolism, I guess, um, because I eat a ton of food, but um, I am actually pretty skinny. And, um, yeah, but um, my favorite food, um, I'm actually a little bit of a cook myself, so I do cook uh, quite a lot. And um, I cook a couple dinners every night or something, or every night, uh, cook uh, every week or month or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm pretty good. My, my dad's a cook, too, so he loves to cook. And so I've kind of taken up after him. 
with all this but um so favorite meal that to cook um well not to cook um to eat is uh we have this kind of secret recipe um um what is it uh skirt steak it is um this really um, just amazing skirt steak that we make where you have um usually on the side of it you have like a risotto or uh, mashed potatoes risotto is like a um like a kind of a, a almost buttery po um not pasta um rice it's almost almost a buttery rice it's kind of like almost a little goopy so on the side you have like a uh, kind of that uh you know, like a lemon risotto you know a little bit of lemon shavings in there and stuff like that um and then for the main the main thing though is this um is this skirt steak right and so I'm, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit of how we make this um we have to buy this special skirt steak from the special store because um and a bunch of other places it just doesn't taste right it's this special really nice cut of um, meat it's just so good um and so with that you have like a bunch of lime in it and um uh, red hot chili peppers because it's a little bit of a hot meal and on the side though you mix a special sauce with which actually has um uh this thing called fish sauce in it and i know it sounds really weird you like fish sauce that just sounds disgusting but um oh yeah it's vietnamese that's what it is that's what the um it's made with the vietnamese people i guess but um this thing called this like a weird bottle of fish sauce, it's kind of um, like a darker liquid and um, I think it's like Japanese or, or no, I guess it's stupid me, it's Vietnamese um, hence the name but um, yeah, you you make this like concoction of that stuff and also I think with garlic and a bunch of lime, the lime and the uh, hot chili peppers really help out uh, to really complete the meal, you know and um, so with all that, you um, just combine that up. We'll tell you how because it's kind of like a secret recipe. And um, so you have uh, kind of like you sprinkle the lime on top of the skirt steak. And you let it soak in, give it a nice good flavor. And on the side though, you have that um, mix of fish sauce and all that stuff. And um, that's actually like your dipping sauce. So after you cook it, and man, if you want to cook it, you got to get like five pounds because I myself ate more than a pound last time we cooked it. And um, I'm not exactly a big kid, so a pound is quite a lot for me. But this stuff is just amazing. And so, um, yeah, so when you cut, you're cutting it up and you pour on this like um, con this mixture of all that um, juices, and man, oh man, your eyes would pop out. I wish I could just come to each and every one of your guys' houses and feed it to you because it is some good stuff that is um, my favorite meal and I have actually cooked it several times I think last time I cooked it myself was for my dad's birthday um, and he loved that um, but besides um, the skirt steak I also like flank steak you know, I'm, I'm a really big carnivore I, I love meat, any kind of meat um, or most kinds of meats. I, I'm not a big fan of T-bone or, or um, New York steak, though. So. Um, I also, I am a huge fan of tacos, if you make them right. Um, I, like, you can't just have, like, any random white person, I, I can say that because I'm white, um, off the street make a, um, make a taco because they'll, they won't make it right. Um, where I live, um, we have a bunch of people that can make some amazing tacos. These are just some really good tacos. And um, the, the steak or um, beef ones, carnitas, not carnitas, carnitas is meat. Um, carne tacos, that's the word, I can use my Spanish. Um, yeah, the carne tacos are the best. They are really good. The people around here can make some amazing carne tacos. Um, yeah, but you get the, um, they cook like this, um, mini, like, taco shell. They fry it up on the, um, grill, I mean, on the, um, 
on the pan, I guess, and use some oil and stuff and salt. And then they put the carne in it, just a little piece of carne, and then you get the, a lime. I, I'm really big into limes, apparently. And you, you squeeze the lime on top of that, and a little extra salt, and oh, oh, it's so amazing. It's just, it's very good. Um, I just had it at my my sister's uh, sixth grade promotion, kind of, I don't know, weird thing to have for a sixth grader. But um, sixth grade promotion, they invited this guy who's like famous where we are famous in our town and his name is Paco you know perfectly rhymes with tacos and so Paco's tacos they are the bomb they are just you you hear like there's a party and you're like oh that's kind of cool and you hear pa Paco's tacos are going to be there and you're like where's the party I'm coming to that thing that is going to be amazing um yeah so those are probably my two top favorite foods of course I also like um a bunch of other foods um I like a well cooked like a really good hamburger uh, if you got it. Um, I also like pizza especially from um, Round Table. Round Table makes some good pizza. Um, what else do I like? I mean my dad is a lot, a lot better cook than I am but um, yeah there's a bunch of meals that I could say that I like. Um, i trying to think of something specific I like um, um, I'm not a huge fan of sushi sushi isn't really my thing uh, raw seafood oh I know what it is I know something um, pot stickers you know Chinese pot stickers they are the best they are one they are one really good food you guys um, I could I could just wolf down pot sticker after pot sticker, um, but yeah you can you can tell that guys I I could keep going on and on about foods I don't like and do like, but um, now it's time for you guys to actually answer the question. So um, in the comments below, I'm pointing with my fingers, but you can't see uh, down below in the comments. Please um, take time to answer these questions. What is your favorite food? Maybe you guys can even give me a recipe. I can try it out myself. And um, what is your least favorite food? Um, for me, it's the Vietnamese skirt steak is my favorite. And then my least favorite is probably sushi. But uh, tell me what your guys is. And um, also ask a question for next episode. And um, I will get to it. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.